All right, folks, a little PCB here, and I figured I would film a little bit of it to show you what we're doing. We're doing this in between working on our uh, Star Trek pinball over there that we've been messing with. But we got this Rally X PCB that's been laying around forever. How long, Joe? Three years. Three years I'm hearing from the back room this thing's been laying around. So we started looking at it, and it appears what the problem was were the ROMs. So these are the original PROMs, P-R-O-M-S. See if we can get it to focus on it. Focus. Maybe. Well, it won't focus that great, but folks, the legs are horrible on these things. Maybe if I put it on a white background, you can see it better. So basically these proms, give me a little focus here. Come on, camera guides. There we go. All right, so you can see it. These legs on these things are tarnished. And so on these midway games, that's usually your problem. Or it might not be the whole problem, but it's a lot of the problem. So we're replacing them. So you, so these are 9332B chips. That's the type of prom it is. So you can replace those. You can't reburn. Well, you wouldn't want to reburn them anyway because the legs are messed up. But you can replace these with a 2532 EEPROM chip. So we had one that was already erased, so we reburned it as a as the 1B chip. So here's how we did it. So uh, on this game, there's about five of them that we have to worry about that with. So there's this one, two, three, four, and then on the other side. There's one more. So this is a Rally X board um, that Midway did. Somebody was somebody was trying to call me. Not sure if it kicked me off or not. But uh, you've got the same problem. So you've got you've got four chips on that side and one chip on this side. So you've got the same problem on a lot of the Midway boards where these legs get all tarnished. You also have that problem on some of these custom chips, like this one. So the, the, you can just clean them, but the legs get really brittle and break a lot. So we're trying to burn new chips. So I was able to burn one already. So I've got out my trusty little pocket programmer too. This is old school, folks. It is a USB one though. So we've connected our pocket programmer and we've connected our uh, power supply. And then there's a little uh, program. comes with it and so we're using this program to burn new chips so we've got a copy of the ROM so on this particular program you go over the load buffer and then we've got a ROM folder here which is our rally X ROMs and so the next one that I'm trying to do is 1H all right so we have loaded Last file loaded in buffer, 1H. So that's the image that needs to be on that EEPROM, right? And we're going to burn it on a 2532, so you can click this, pick which one you want. Now, we don't have any 2532 here, the 2532s here that are new or that are blank, so I've got some in our eraser, so I'm going to go check them out. That Joe has been... racing for us here back in the dungeon so we'll see we'll grab some of these and we'll see if they are blank yet what do you think joe any chance all right so we've got five chips here we're going to see if they're blank yet So, as 
you see it's 2532 this is this is an old one you know they probably haven't made these in forever but this is an old one that had an old sticker on it we peeled it off so that the window was exposed and then put it in our eraser so you put it in the programmer lock her down and then we're going to see if it's blank so the way you do that is you just click blank check devices erased now did you see how quick that went that's because these five, these chips, like a 2532, it's a little tiny chip. It's like a four kilobyte chip or something like that. All right, so we've got one H loaded. And so we're going to see if it will burn like that. It's a 2532. We've got it all set up right. It's going to try to burn it at 25 volts, which I guess is what a 2532 needs. So we're going to hit program and see if it works. It did. See, it says... Device verified by, to buffer. So what I usually do is I'll program it twice. So I'll click it again. So it, you know, I've programmed it twice. I'm gonna hit verify a device again just to make sure that uh, it's that it burned all right. Seems like it did. All right, so that's our one H. It's hard to do this with one hand, folks. That one goes there. We'll put it in later. All right, so we'll try moving on to the next one. Also a 2532 that we just tried to erase. So same thing. We'll see if it's blank. It is. All right, good. So I need a 1E. 1E. All right, let's see if it works. Device did not program. So whenever you get that error, usually what that means is the chip is damaged. Hey, Sonic, how's it going? So this chip is probably trash. I'm going to try to just reseed it just to make sure that I don't like that going on. It said it was erased, but it doesn't want to program. All right. I don't like that one's going to work for us, people. Wah, wah, wah. Joe, we need more chips. Make it happen. He's going to make it happen in the back, folks. All right, it's so a 2532. Same thing. Let's see if this one's any better. We'll see if it's blank. It does appear to be blank. All right, we've got one E loaded in the buffer. Mmm. Thought we had it, but we did not. Part of the problem is, is we're we're losing. We're using. See how it goes a little bit further each time you hit it. Every time it stops, though, it's probably giving you a bad where that little bite or whatever didn't burn quite right. See, it says it verified, but we'll try try burning over the top of it a couple times. What's going on, Terry? We'll see if that worked. It says it worked. Hmm. Do we trust it though? Maybe we'll trust it. So that one will go there. And we'll make some... Hey, what's up, boss? We'll make some little labels for it. All right. I'll try our next one. Ooh, this one says TMS2532. Some of those don't always cooperate. I don't know if I got that wrong or not. Is that a... There's a difference, too, between a 2532 and a 2532A. All right, so nothing verified, which is good, I guess. I hit the wrong button. So that one's not blank yet. So that's not going to work. And now we're down to our last little chip. So we'll try this one. See if this one's blank. This one does appear to be blank, so we're going to load the... File in, and we want a 1K file. All right, we're going to try to program it. Keep your fingers crossed, people. Ah, did not program, so that chip's no good either. All right, so we're going to have to get some more chips, folks. So, tell you what, we'll get some more chips, and then we'll come back whenever we get the thing uh, up and running or see if that gets it up and running. But uh, we thought we'd just film a quick little video of how we... Uh, work on some little EEPROMs during the day here whenever we're trying to get a board up and running. That's a rally, Midway Rally X, really cool game. 
and we don't have the game, the cabinet. We're just trying to get this board to work. We've got a little adapter we can play the board with on the test bench to see if it, see if it's all right. But uh, we're going to keep working on the EPROMs, and uh, we'll see if we we can find some more blank ones that we can uh, burn and get this thing up and running.